Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss about types of equations called as algebraic and transcendental equations. I will also discuss about their solutions. So let us first see what are algebraic equations. It is an equation of the form a naught x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 up to a n minus 1 x plus a n is equal to 0. This equation is also denoted by p n x is equal to 0, where p n x is a polynomial in x of degree n. Here, for all i, a i's are constant. Such an equation is called as algebraic equation in x of degree n. For example, x cube minus 9 x square plus 1 is equal to 0 is an algebraic equation of degree 3. Similarly, x square plus 5 x plus 2 is equal to 0 is an algebraic equation in x of degree 2. Now let us discuss about transcendental equations. It is an algebraic equation consisting of functions such as trigonometric, logarithmic and exponential. Such an equation is called as transcendental equation. For example, e raised to minus x minus sin x is equal to 0 is a transcendental equation. Similarly, x e raised to x minus cos x is equal to 0 is also a transcendental equation. Now let us see solution to these equations. Solution to any equation p n x is equal to 0 is the value of x which satisfies that equation. For example, x is equal to 2 satisfies the equation x square minus 4 is equal to 0. So we call x is equal to 2 as solution to this equation. Let us understand this with the help of geometry. Note that geometrically solution to algebraic and transcendental equation both have same representation. Now consider any equation p n x is equal to 0. Then say this is curve p n x. p n x takes value 0 at this point of x. So this point we call as solution to equation p n x is equal to 0. I hope you understood this part. Now let us discuss the interval of a solution. Solution to any algebraic or transcendental equation p n x is equal to 0 lies in the interval x1 comma x2 that is between the points x is equal to x1 and x is equal to x2 if the values of p n x1 and p n x2 are opposite in sign. Let me help you to explain this with the help of diagram. Consider this curve p n x. This curve crosses x-axis at this point, so this point is solution to the equation p n x is equal to 0. x1 is here and this is your x2. This is p n x1 and this is p n x2. Since p n x1 is above x-axis, it is positive in nature and since p n x2 is below x-axis, it is negative in nature. So clearly, pn x1 and pn x2 are in opposite in sign therefore solution lies between x1 and x2 i hope guys you understood what are algebraic and transcendental equation their examples and the solution of these equations in my next video i am going to show you the methods called as numerical techniques to solve these equations i am going to list the couple of methods over here they are regular falsi method which is also known as false position method and newton raphson method in my next video we will see the steps involved in these methods as well as examples on it till then keep watching my videos thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos